Well, hello everyone. I'm uh, taking a quick little morning video. Uh, it's December 11th, 2020, about 9 a.m. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, got some fog. I better turn my lights on because I want people to see me. <laughs> Important stuff, you know. Anyway, I'm heading to a uh, job site uh, on the north side. And of course, I'm way down here on the south side. So we'll go driving through the foggy city and see how my uh, 4K camera works, if it is in fact a true 4K. Anyway, using the uh, Sony Action Cam, uh, the 4K, what do they call it, splash proof, uh, X, X armor or something, something like that. Anyway is not a bad day other than it's a little uh, on the chilly side and the fog of course and you can see some of the uh, the frost on the trees and that always looks nice uh, wasn't like that a couple hours ago or an hour and a half ago so it's developing fairly quickly this morning because of the the colder temperature and the humidity levels it's all good though so not that big of a deal Of course, it's Friday, so TGIF. I always like Fridays, especially when you you're not on call on Saturday or Sunday. Makes for a much better time. Now you may notice on the uh, on the camera one thing I did look at before it's uh, boy does that camera pick up the uh, the cracks and the, the little dips and, and nicks in the uh, windshield um, all those little spots are very very noticeable I guess 4k really brings it out <laughs> which is kind of kind of neat I guess so that's all right. And at least uh, driving in the city here, we don't have uh, that big pile of wind noise that we get when uh, I'm out on the highway. The ladder racks don't make quite as much noise. So the fog is really, really interesting. Getting thicker again. That ought to make the roads a little more slick too. I did have to wait for uh, for them to open up at the uh, storage place there so I could get my parts out. Uh, they were shipped yesterday, but the guys don't open till 9 a.m. so. I had to kind of wait till this morning, but I decided to go wash my van real quick before uh, before I went to work because it definitely needed to, to be a little bit cleaner. So at least that's done for now. I can see out the windows again, although that front windshield, I'm going to have to really bug the boss here and say, hey. 
it's getting to the point where uh, structurally it's compromised we need to get rid of it and quite frankly it is uh, as soon as you have cracks getting to the outside edge in a multiple amount of places it is exactly that it's compromised so it's time to maybe get a new windshield that'll make for better videos And for those who are wondering and don't know, I'm, I'm coming up uh, 91st Street. Uh, if you're following through on the map. <laughs> and that is here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, in case you're wondering. And yeah, our outside temperature right now is um, minus 13 Celsius, and that'll probably be, uh, I think that's around 10, 9, 9 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that, so not very nice out there. One thing I don't like is when I'm I'm doing a video and I have a tractor trailer sitting in front of me. You know, here this guy is going slow as molasses, and uh, well, he's under the speed limit anyway by 10 kilometers an hour or five or six miles per hour. Call it safe if you will, but. It doesn't make for good video when you have a dirt ball in front of you. They could at least wash the truck. Right? Me, Van? Okay, so from this intersection, we're, since we're going to the north side, I'm going to be going right. And uh, I guess the, uh, the route I want to take, hmm, I got to think about that because they closed 109th Street, intersection on Argyle or 63rd, so... Oh, the GPS is telling me to go both ways and then don't go the other way and turn around again. How about I just uh, go this way and take care of things?
Ah, uh, we'll take 99th Street down to White Ave and then cut over on White Ave so we get over there. Or I could go right through. I'll go right through downtown. What the heck? I'm not in a super hurry here, so we're good. It's not an emergency call, so I can take a little bit of time. Yeah, normally if it's not foggy you'd be able to see downtown from here uh, straight down the street but that soup is fairly thick so can't see a heck of a lot about five blocks four blocks Well, at least with uh, going down 99th Street here, you'll be able to see the uh, the river valley. And, uh, well, I expect delays. I expect delays everywhere. Construction season's supposed to be over. What are you guys doing? They're dragging it on. Typical city of Edmonton stuff, everything that can be done within one year, they'll stretch it out into two or three, just to waste extra money, but what do you expect from the city? You know, every time we elect new puppets at the top, that uh, people uh, with all the bucks are pulling their strings anyway, and then uh, you get... Uh, the heads of all the departments have not changed and they're still doing the same status quo as they've done before until they really screw up. Nobody notices, nobody says anything and they keep burying all their mistakes and their uh, inabilities, especially with the uh, things like theft from the city you know when you have city workers thinking they're above everyone else and they can do whatever they want go to get coffees and, and snacks and whatever and sit out in front of Tim Hortons restaurants with their city of Edmonton trucks it looks pretty bad when they do that and the worst part is you know the city claims oh we're working hard to clean that up and you know here they are it's still happening so Anyway, there's the river valley. You can see the fog is lifting off those buildings down uh, downtown there. Looks kind of neat. And uh, oh, 
other things. Oh yeah, they're building a very expensive footbridge over there. Oh, and the sign says no gatherings, COVID-19, wear a mask, no gatherings. Because a gathering would mean, gee, you're going to spread things. And believe it or not, there are still people wandering around without masks, thinking that they are above above the laws and above the rules and above the disease. And of course, those ones are the ones that are uh, probably going to be the biggest burdens in our healthcare system. <laughs> Oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay, so oh, what's this thing telling us? It's telling us to go the other way, yet I think we should go that way. Uh, uh, similar ETA. I could go left, or sorry, right here, or I could go up the hill this way. So I have choices. We'll go this way, a little more scenic, things to look at, maybe. And of course, this is downtown, so we went up, uh, what do they call that? McDougal Hill, because it comes up beside the uh, McDonald Hotel. Off to the uh, right hand side there you may be able to see that big clock tower that's actually our city hall with the uh, the pyramid there in my opinion it's a waste of good taxpayers dollars the structure cost an exorbitant amount of money a regular building would have done just as well but then again, like I said before, it's only the, uh, the elected officials are only the puppets on the strings. They're subject to the guys with money. And it's a proven fact. They, they knuckle under. Well, politicians are weak. Uh, not overly enthused with the uh, city of Edmonton's uh, government, if you want, for lack of better words.
Anyway, you uh, probably seen Rogers Place there just before I turned the corner. That's that big uh, new hockey arena uh, where the Oilers, the Edmonton Oilers play there. Um, having a downtown arena, in my opinion, is, is absolutely crazy. Uh, you've got zero parking. You know, you're forcing people to take transit and stuff like this. And then uh, on top of that, to get into a hockey game, it's, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a ticket nowadays or whatever it is. Absolutely nuts as far as I'm concerned. turning on to Kingsway Avenue shortly right up there where that white pickup truck is turning price went down, 88.9 per liter. So roughly four liters a gallon. So three, 350 something a, a gallon for gas, Canadian. Oh, 350 for gas. Let's see if you convert that to uh, U.S. money. You take about 75 cents, yeah, 85 cents off of that. So about 275 a gallon for gas right now. That's not that bad. As we're driving along off to the right there of course was Kingsway Garden Mall and then uh, what else is around here AMA or Alberta Motor Association just up the street a little bit on the right hand side and the RCMP uh, key division headquarters on the uh, left side And then further up on the right side, of course, is the old municipal airport, which they're turning into everything but a municipal airport. I guess they just didn't want airplanes flying over, over the city anymore, saying it's noisy. So I wonder what happens once uh, Edmonton sprawls out so far that uh, the uh, city gets around the international airport. What are you going to do then? Shut that down too because, gee, it's too noisy. 
Sometimes you have to question the mentality of what uh, they're really thinking. Another, one of the things I heard, well, it's the safety of people, you know, because what if you have an airplane crash? Well, how many airplanes have crashed here? You know, and you compare that to how many car crashes you have in the city. So, you really have to wonder. It uh, doesn't uh, have a lot of logic to it. Anyway, yeah, you can probably see the old uh, control tower there and stuff. And the aviation museum uh, coming up on the right-hand side here. Some of the aircraft that they... Uh, had and I see they've built some townhouses out there already on the uh, on the old strip <laughs> which uh, I guess it is what it is but yeah there's uh, that's a 104 I think and I'm not sure what that is beaver of some sort and that missile <laughs> cool stuff anyway I uh, really didn't want to make too too long of a video I am going to be getting to where I need to go within about five minutes. So I will well, I'll go around a couple more corners here and get to see a little bit more of the city. Yeah, these hotels that were relying on the uh, the airport traffic here are probably not going to be doing so well anymore. Used to be a business all in itself, having travelers. Nowadays, I guess with the COVID stuff, traveling is is a no-go anyway. But we'll see what happens once this uh, vaccine gets rolled out a little bit more. A couple more months, we should be getting back to quasi-normal. We hope. Okay, so we just turned on to 118th Avenue. Not particularly a good part of the town. So. I mean, it is what it is. Some fine people live here, but I'm sure there's there's the basket that has the uh, the bad ones in it as well. Now we're going up 127th Street, so this is the point where I will say goodbye and all that nice stuff. So thanks for coming along on my little trek across the uh, city here from uh, way down on the south side to, well, I wouldn't call this the complete north end, but uh, Certainly the north side, central north side. So. Hope you enjoyed coming along. Hope you liked, hey, there was a teddy bear with a Santa hat. Okay, I don't know if you've seen that, but I did. Somebody likes Christmas. Anyway, 
I am going to get off the phone then, or no, off the uh, phone, ah, off the camera. Pay attention to what the heck I'm doing. See, I'm already distracted. Okay, guys and gals, thank you very much for having a look at the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. All those good things, it does help me out. Especially nowadays, since I'm trying to push and get my channel uh, monetized. Hopefully that'll happen soon. Getting closer in the uh, hours that are required. So, it would be great if uh, you could watch the video to the complete end. <laughs> Anyhow, you take care all. Thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.